We are back, crack. Yo. Yo. How we doing? You're looking good today. Uh, I figured because it's go- I'm, we're going to miss the, uh, the the holiday, right? So is that is that correct? Is this when, the St. Patty's Day? This is yeah. St. Patty's Day? Really? St. Patty's Day is like, like the se- is it the 17th? Yeah. Okay, so I figured I'd wear the green now. I'm That's Sunday, I think, right? Yeah. Is so that? you're wearing okay. the green now. I like yeah. that. You're festive at the end of the day. Yeah, got to be. People uh, don't realize it. Try to always be nice and uh, celebrate holidays, you know, for the missus. Yeah. She said something right. Like, I don't like to celebrate my own birthday. I don't like to be giving gifts on Christmas. I like to give Me the neither. gifts. I like to say, yeah. Yeah. I like, and, and When did that start? Always? Uh, oh, my father was like that. Huh. My father used to take pictures in the camera. Well, as a matter of fact, when, my, my, when, when he passed, I went in the basement and there was, uh, I think there was, you know those albums? Remember those photo albums? They're sure. Real thick? Yeah, Sure. There was 30, the sticky, like you, you, 35 yeah. of them, the sticky ones, 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then there was those packs of, you used to go to like CVS and get the, you know, developed. Yep. There was another 50 of them. My father was a photo buff. So he of used, undeveloped? Uh, no, no, they're all. Oh, all developed all in the envelope. Got it. So he used to take pictures and he, of holidays, he would celebrate for everyone, do pictures, but he would not want the gifts. He'd get his gifts last, but he didn't even want them, like me. Yeah. And we get that from, uh, you know, probably. Uh, my grandfather too. You know, my grandfather was kind of the same way. So my grandfather, my father, me, and um, I don't know. I like giving. I like giving. It's fun. It's yeah. Fun to give. Um, You've given people cars, especially before. kids. Ah, uh, no. I just give my, give my nieces money for you know, deposits on cars, or uh, you know, down payments. I've always wanted to give somebody a car. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's nice. You know, it's amazing. So you would think, because now my nieces are twenty-two and. 22 and 19. Right. You would think, oh, use car five grand. That's just a deposit because yeah. you really can't get a good car to go back and forth to work for five grand. No. So I kind of felt bad, but at least you, you no, can give them a car that, that, that comes with maintenance <laughs> right. for five grand. <laughs> right, right, right. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, we want to remind people to always like and subscribe. I'm told to always do this at the beginning of the shows because I'll forget that kind of thing. And we're doing great. We're doing great on YouTube. We're yeah. doing great on Spotify. And um, yeah, a lot of good feedback lately. Good this feedback. last month this or last, whatever it is. Last month's yeah. been good. Yeah, yeah. It's been good. I like and Usually it's slow, by the way. Usually at the football season, right. everything goes right, 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 right. So, but we talk about everything. Today we're actually going to talk some gambling too. Some people were saying, hey, you guys don't really talk a lot of gamb- actual I feel like strategy. We do. And oh. I think we do too, though. I really do. They I want more. They're just degenerates. I they need more. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I, 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 so you, first, I want to make you laugh. Do you remember when we were kids? Like, I grew up in a boardwalk town. We had these arcade. I worked in an arcade. We had an arcade game. Remember the crane? It would go down and pick up something and, yeah. of course, bring it back over. Yeah. So now this is a skill-based, supposedly a skill-based slot machine that's okay. in the casinos now. These cranes, they bother me. Because they're not skill based. No, no, they're not. They're based on the ball of money you pick up. It will, it will. You'll, you'll position it perfectly. It'll pick it up, and then automatically it just starts shaking and drops it. As if, if it's a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars, it bothers me. It's not skill based. So no, um, they're not going to make it that easy. For they're you. not going to make it that easy. Well, they were supposed to have skill based slot machines. They did shortly for a short period of time. They realized that a lot of the bugs that were geniuses at things, you know, obviously, uh, you know, you got kids that can do a Rubik's Cube in, you know, 10 seconds. So how, how can yeah. you have a skill-based slot machine? So um, anyway, that's something that I that I, I was uh, talking to someone about, how it's not really skill-based. It bothers me. Um, you know, the, machine, the, the casinos aren't going to give you something that's really uh, can be in your favor. Yeah. You know, at least at least not that they know of. Listen, I'll, I'll play video poker or something when it's in my favor. Um, but it doesn't mean you're going to win. It doesn't always mean you're going to win. Right. Even these advantage slot machines that I play doesn't mean you're always going to win. I had a, we had a big opportunity last week. I got a I got a text from someone. Uh, well, I'll just tell you, my buddy Randy texted me um, and we, we, we went in together on a um, as you could see this 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 slot machine we played. Uh, it was here. So now this is a must hit. It's 120 a spin. This 14 must hit by 15. See the 15? There? Oh, wow. So it's a must hit machine. Yeah. So there's a 14, a 9, and an 8. They yep. all have to hit by 15. The 14 had to hit by 15, but it was 120 a spin. So it was a lot of money. So I said, you know what? I think we should bring a third person on. <clears throat> and how much would you have won? Well, we could have won a lot of money. Okay. How much do you think we were in? 5,000. <laughs> 
Twenty-three thousand. No way. Yeah. And it didn't hit. We were no. It didn't hit at twenty. Well, we had twenty-three in. We had fourteen. We were in fourteen actual real cash. We we're losing fourteen thousand. We were in twenty-three thousand, and we actually wound up losing about seven grand. Yeah. Even after it, hit, it did hit, so then you still lost. Hit. Yeah. So you don't have to win. Right. On advantage. This is one hundred and twenty dollars a spin now. With cash back and stuff, I'm, it's my first time in that casino in a long, long time. So with cash back, I may be able to overcome my right. one third of the loss. No matter, as a matter of fact, since my guy found the machine, I had forty percent. So I had forty percent. My buddy, my two buddies had thirty and thirty. Can you say what casino or no? You know what? I don't want to say it. Okay. Because I don't want to let them let any let them know how good. But I'll just tell you, I I don't go in that casino. My God. They have some advantage machines in there. Really? Oh my God! Uh, I guess I will say it's not a big deal to me. The Venetian. Oh. I, I don't go in the Venetian. Why? I, I just don't go. It's not not one of my casinos. It but might be soon because I went in Friday night. Yeah. And I couldn't believe what I seen. It, it's busier than Caesar's Palace. You, you, I mean, the walk traffic, the people. Are, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's it, nice. It was as busy. It's really Venetian nice. side or Palazzo side. I was in the Venetian side. Yeah. Um, by the way. These machines are right outside this bar. So if you guys, if anyone's ever over there, there's high limit slots. Then there's a bar right there on the outside of the bar. I can't believe they have big machines like that, but that's where they're. It's near the bathroom, It's a guaranteed too. 15. And you have, it has to hit by 15. There's three different red, green, and blue. have to hit by 15. Kind of near the cashier. And if it's on 14, you know what, John? I don't know where the cashier is. But I just know it's right outside high limit slots. Yeah. But, um. Or, or it's right by that bar. It's a round, circular bar right there. Right. And um, okay. no, the reason why I don't want to tell them, I don't want the, like the Venetian to think that there's so many advantages. But you want to know something? It doesn't matter. They're making so much money. They're not going right. to care about that. Right. It's amazing, the foot traffic in there. Did you, Did you know it was this busy there? Yeah. Yeah. So the Venetian Palazzo gets that kind of business. Yeah. Because I'm used to like you know the why? wind where it's slower and right. Well, convention, convention stuff at Venetian. So you it's couldn't every move day. on Friday night. By the way. Yeah. I've never seen more hookers in my life. Really? First of all, I guess I'm blind to that. Yeah. Because I don't really even realize. I, I don't look for hookers. Obviously, I don't look for I don't right. really notice them. There, I noticed them. Tons. Well, let me, yeah. let me say the, uh, the real thing. There, at 120 a spin with 23,000 in the machine, they noticed me. Right. So, not that I noticed them. But, um, yeah, I, had, I was approached a couple <laughs> different times. Yeah. That's funny. I was scared, too, by one of them. Really? Yeah, she might have had a pee-pee. Yo, uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just saying. It's like like some of them, like, like you know, no, right. I, I have a nice day. See you later. But yeah. But some of them were smoke shows. Yeah. There was like a Colombian girl that came over like, wow, Jesus. I was like, she wants <laughs> wow. She's, she was Miss Colombia. I root for Colombia. But Colombians are so beautiful girls. Yeah. I root for them in every event. Bob Do you? Sled, everything. <laughs> You're in. Every single Olympic Coffee, event. Coffee, everything. Yeah. yeah. They have it all. No, but, but I... I I don't really know. I never see. I never see prostitutes in casinos ever. Oh, I see them all the time. Really? Yeah. I guess I just don't look for. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they they dress differently there, and I guess they didn't. It, it's not like it was years ago. You know, lipstick in the pocketbooks. They're, they're like they look like you know. High Sometimes school, they're very college low key. Kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because they're trying to be under the radar yeah, yeah, and security. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I didn't. Have to, we can yeah. go anywhere. Win, win has them. Really? I'm oh the, God! I'm in the win every week. Oh my God! Trust me. I just, I just crawling with him at win. Wow, crawling. With wow, him. Yeah. George is shaking his head back there. I guess it yeah, was the hundred and twenty. Yeah. <laughs> lower than it was the hundred and twentieth spin that got them. Attracted. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, but um, you, speaking of advantage play, real quick, I got a DM a few days ago about a guy talking about baccarat, yep. and he says, "I want to. Uh, we have a, we know a mutual uh, baccarat player, and so he was like, hey, I want to get your take on.'" this strategy, whatever. And I wrote back strategy, LOL. It's a coin flip. And he says, no, it's, it's not. I see why you'd say that, but blah, blah, blah. He's like, it's more, um, I have a system where, uh, I'm using their rules against them. Right. right. Is this possible? I know Phil Ivy had like that the kid thing. The, like the kid with the tattoos on his face. Yeah. It's not that kid, but, oh, um, yeah. but I know who you're talking about, but, um, there's no, in I mean, the end, they have one thing left the system. In other words, they go broke. The system. Right, right. Uh, listen, you, you're not going to beat a one and a half percent game. Right. If you tell me you're going to beat blackjack, I'll believe you. There's many ways to bleed. We talked about it before. Many right. ways to beat it. Not just card counting, whole carding, sectioning, uh, you know, yeah. uh, A sequencing, um, shuffle tracking. There's a lot of different ways to beat. Right. But 
you're not going to tell me you were going to beat Baccarat unless you brought up the right thing, unless you're going to have a, a, a deal where, you know, Phil Ivey, like Phil Ivey had, where they, they were put all four cards out on the table before you made your bet, and they were edge shorting. So they were looking, this, the girl that was with him knew about the, the edge short on the card. So yeah. um, anyway, uh, why would he, this is, I, I love, there's a line in The Godfather when, when, when Solozzo asked him for money. A million dollars. And he says, well, why do I deserve this generosity? Why are you right. going to give me four or five times the money? Why is the Baccarat guy calling you with the system? Why no, he wasn't it? calling me with the system. Oh. He wanted my opinion on it. And I was like, dude, it's a coin flip. Stop. Yeah, listen. Stop. I'm 99.999% that he's, but there's still that little .0001 that he's cheating. So I, I want to know. Tell him I'll go out with him. Okay. Yeah. No, seriously. I want <laughs> to see right. what he's doing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I like that. Yeah, tell him I'll go out with him. Yeah, no, because I'll, I'll, I'll see. You know, not that I'm the best at this, but I could. Yeah, I, I think it's just a. He's saying he's us, using their rules, so. Yeah. I don't know. That doesn't sound right to me. I, everyone, lots of guys have systems. Yeah, and then sometimes guys will tell me pattern recognition. I'm like, that's the dumbest thing. I, am I? I'm not wrong, right? Like, that's like saying pattern recognition when you're watching the roulette wheel, red or black. Like, there's no. It's it's always going to change based on the shuffle, no? Like well, listen, it, it if you have if you have eight decks, eight decks of cards, okay, and if you can keep track of every card, in other words, you know there's going to be thirty two aces, thirty two ones, or fives, and thirty two sixes, and if you can write every one of them down and check them off and know how many cards of which is left, um, you know, like natural nine, natural eight, like. I, I, in, in blackjack, it's worth a ton, but in Baccarat, I, I, I don't know unless, you know what I mean? Like, right. Like, I, I just don't, like, if you were able to write the cards down in blackjack, you don't have to even card count, you know, to know there's going to be a lot of aces or tens left. But of course, you're not allowed to do that. You're not even allowed to card count without that. You know, they're going to throw you out. Right. We should go out one day, you and I, and, and I just stand behind you and videotape. After we get, after I get you banned by, by the way, not me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Wouldn't that be great for your reputation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to even show me. You right. can just say, hey, why he's getting banned? I'm banned. Yeah. But no. can we pick a place I don't care about going back to? That's what it is. You know, it's funny. I had, I had this guy, I had this guy in a casino. The Oye. Years ago. <laughs> and, Oyo. Uh, yeah. He, he, he. Uh, I'm showing a buddy of mine. He's a buddy of mine. I wasn't. We, we were just playing some blackjack, and they came over and back, backed, backed both of us off. And he got so nervous. He goes, "I love, I love playing here. Don't get me banned. I, I don't care if, I, if, I'm, if I'm, I'm a loser. I like to be a loser. I like coming here. You know, the, that's his enjoyment. Right, right. For me, I'm looking to steal. I'll be honest with you. I don't give a f about any casino. I'm looking to win my money. I'm looking to take their money, not steal, steal. Right. But I'm looking to count cards, do it with. A, but there are some places you wouldn't want. Like I would never want. I don't to be do banned it to win. From, right. I don't. You know. <laughs> that's the exact place I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, I don't want to get banned from the. I wind. don't want to be banned from. And the, the wind. wind is one of the first places to throw you out. By yeah. the way, it's hard to believe, right? The wind is one of the first places to back you off. Wind won't let you win. Yeah. No. They. 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 They'll back you off. Yeah. Wind. Aria, Venetian. I don't want to be banned. From they're gonna, they're gonna, ba they're gonna ban you from Aria. They're gonna ban you from Venetian. Double if you're playing double deck blackjack, and I'm with you there, you'll get banned. Really? The double deck, yeah. Double deck blackjack. Let's go to like, like the spread. link. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Caesar's property. You want to know why you can't do that? Oh, because then it's it's no, because it's, you can't. The, the rules are terrible at Caesar's. All Caesar's properties on, on their double deck. If you have a pair of eights. And then you get a three. Yeah, you can't double. Wait, wait, stop. Wait, yeah. come on, stop. On the stop, on, stop. On double deck. Now on the on the shoe you could double, but on the on the on the hand pitch games you can't double. I would lose my mind oh my if I found What's the that purpose out of splitting? the table. Like if I played a five hundred dollar oh, hand, God. you can go to high limit. High limit Caesar's Palace, betting ten thousand a hand. You cannot double. Uh, you could split. You can't double. I wonder if Dana can. I I bet Dana can. I don't know. I mean, I would think maybe you know what. I, and, and the rule could have changed, but two years ago, and, and for the last decade, you cannot double after two splitting. Two eights, and you get a three? Yeah. If you get What's the two, purpose can, of even splitting? If you get the two, can the you double? The dealer has a six up. You got you have a pair of eights. The dealer has a, a right. six up. You have a pair of fives. No, right. fives you don't double. Fives you double. You don't split. Right. Uh, you know, a pair, a pair of threes. You know what I mean? Like, if you get a seven, right. you can't double. You get on a ten. If you, if you split the eights and you get a two, can you double then? Like if, so, if you have ten, no. can you double? No, no. There's no doubling after splitting. Oh my God! Yeah. On anything? On, on any? On, on the double deck. 
Not on the shoe. Double the shoe, you can do what you want. That's the craziest rule ever. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Is blackjack three to two? Yes. Yeah, but I mean, at least wow. I'm in high limit. Wow, so that's criminal. Think, yeah. No. How does the gaming commission allow that? That's just that shouldn't even be allowed. No. Listen, they can make up their own rules. I talked about this. Um, parlay cards. So you know the, the parlay cards that are in the casino on the weekends. Yeah. So I go to like stations or Boyd. This right. would be fun for you to do. Uh, with me, I'll fill out four teams on the parlay card. Uh, three teams, three teams, three mathematically three teams are the best thing to do on a parlay card. So I'll fill out a three, uh, a three teamer, and I'll send you up to the counter with um, like four different cards with different combinations of three, and you'll see they'll turn you down. And say, oh no, you can't bet that. You can't bet the plus seven, but you can bet the minus seven if you want. They're booking one way parlay cards. <laughs> so in other words, in other words, the, the line on the game is now four and a half, but it says plus seven on the card. So now you're betting the plus seven on the card. They're going to say no. But if you want to lay the seven, yeah, you're welcome to do it. Wow. Oh, yeah. No. So I called, That's everywhere? I called game. No, not everywhere. Usually okay. they'll take them off the board. I've called gaming a couple, multiple times. You know what they tell me? Private property. They can do what they want. So they can do whatever they want. Wow. Basically, man. they can. That's, you know, that's not cool. Yeah, they could book one way bets. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That, those two companies, though, I mean, and I like stations. I love the Durango. I love the yeah. Red Rock playing in the casino. They have good food, good deals, good local things. Yeah. But they don't like winners. So that sign you see, we love our winners on the roads, it's bullshit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that, that, what about nice. Circa? Uh, Circa, I, uh, they have a parlay card, and I'll play it once in a while. Yeah, yeah, they they do seem to take it because they take the games down quick. Like if the games, if they, if if it was a seven, now it's four yeah. and a half off the board. They don't let you bet either way. I met, I have no problem with. I met with Don Johnson the other day at Westgate. He just yeah. at Westgate up in that Elvis Suite. Pretty cool. Nice. I know you've been up there. I've been up there. It's, it's really, really cool. nice. Yeah. Um, and uh, he's allowed to play, right? They let they let him play blackjack. Five thousand a hand. Yeah, they let him. But play. he's happy that they let him do that. Yeah, and he says you could still do some damage. Yeah. Yeah. You know, his, he has a video on YouTube when he was allowed to bet the 100000 a hand at Tropicana, and every 24 hours they were giving him the rebate. That's the greatest video. It's so good to see. Really? Well, he just tells you. I'm surprised he talked about this. He tells you about the mistakes that they made. Um, if they make a $100,000 error, he wasn't telling them. Right. They made three of them. So in his favor. Imagine you got a, a dealer, a floor person right on top of him, pit boss, and surveillance all on top of them. And in the five, I think it's seven days he played. That was five or se five to seven days at that session. He had three hundred thousand dollars in his favor, where he got paid instead of losing, or pushing instead of lo instead of losing. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's right on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you and Don were talking about what? Uh, he's a little bit. He's a little bit, He's a little bit cocky and arrogant. No, he. he uh, I thought that. Did he calm down? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't really? drink anymore. Okay. And, uh, All right. He lost Not much drinking weight. Anymore. He looks great. Might be a big thing. Yeah, that you're right. When I seen him, he was drinking. Yeah, he looks he looks great. Um, re really, I, I really like him. Uh, nice. Yeah, the first time I had him on the show. Oh, I know you I had him on. A, like, a, yeah, you did because because you asked me to ask him about sequencing. Oh, okay. Basically. Um, yeah. Should I not have said that? Um, oh, it's anyway. okay. Uh, he doesn't count cards. No, they let him play. he doesn't. They wouldn't, let, they wouldn't yeah. let him play. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought I felt like he was maybe performing a little bit the first time he was on the show, and the mm -hmm. second time he was more like really quote, quote, real. And then now I've gotten to know him. He's a really nice, very, right, very nice good. guy. Yeah, you, you would like you'd like him. Good. But anyway, what I was gonna say is, I was walking through the sports book because I parked in the back to, when I got there. They're having some kind of baseball contest. Do you get into that? I seen it. I seen the builders. So what is it? I didn't really look at the yeah, details. I, I, you you I, don't I do the baseball no. contest. How come? I don't know. I really what do you have know. against? I thought you liked baseball. I do what? like baseball, but I, I like slowing down now this time of the year too. I do bet baseball though. I had a great baseball season last year, right? So. But um, I don't know. I just didn't get into it. I, I was looking to go like, <laughs> I was looking for it to go away, yeah, and take some vacation time, yeah. And then you know my Fox show ended Super Bowl Sunday, and then Fox hit me back and said, "Hey, can you do four weeks of March Madness with us?" I said, "Okay." So I'm doing next four weeks of wow. March Madness. Um, I'm doing my show every Sunday. Uh, it's a live show on Fox Sports Radio every they Sunday. They like you. Yeah, so I'm doing that. Every, and then after that, I'm probably going to do like some Florida time or something and yeah. um, you know, get away a little bit. But I do love baseball, though. Will you it, go down to Boca? Do some shows in the Boca studio. Yeah, so in other words, I'll be from there and you'll be from here? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, what, what, uh, what was I going to say to you? That Boca or maybe I'll come going, out there. Is it going good? Uh, better. It's getting better. Good. Yeah, it's a little slow start. But I would think that that... 
you know, having a really cool studio would be the way to roll. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, like, like having a real cool studio down there, I mean. Yeah. Like if I want a podcast, I would go to a professional studio right. like that. There's not many of many. You no. Know, there are not many competition. No. So, um, but yeah, so I want to talk about my neighbor. So I have a neighbor that's a good guy. And he just, I go out, I go out now with him once in a while. He comes, well, he comes out with me once in a while when I have, you know, I have free play to pick up three times a week here in Vegas for playing video poker. So three trips a week, I go out to casinos, play video poker, and he comes with me a lot of the times. He has money. He's a money guy. You know what he does? He, he buys catalytic converters, which I don't know, like that's, that's right. a business. Yeah. You wouldn't believe how much money the catalytic converter Wait, I met him. Is. Yeah, I met oh, him. Oh, yeah, you met him. Yeah, I met him. Big business. Yeah. Giant he came, business. He came here. You won't even believe how much money he makes. Like, like, uh, you, can be, you, know, you have a million dollar years just buying converters and like really? 30, 40, 50 at a time and selling them. There's something inside the converter that's like a precious something. Condiment, you know, whatever it is. Uh, precious metal. Precious metals. I, I almost said yeah. precious condiment. I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah Conduits. Like a, yeah. Uh, there's something in there. So, um Anyway, uh, I can't stop him from playing bad machines <laughs> when he's in the casino. Like, he's, oh, no, no, I want to learn. I want to learn what you do, and I want to play these video poker, right. and I want to play. And, and I, I showed him a lot of the bonus machines. I showed him these, these uh, I showed him, like, Frankenstein, how are you supposed to find these bonuses on Frankenstein, and these other, you know, dragon links. I'm trying to show him different things. And then he'll wind up, you know, somehow going over and finding the buffalo. Which is not an advantage, but Ugh. he loves playing Buffalo because he likes I to. I hate that machine. Buffalo, like he's, a, and I'm trying it's to tell so him. so obnoxious. But uh, he, he's a great guy. Just that, he's just, it, it shows me why these casinos make so much money. Yeah. So last night we were at the South Point, and when we go to the South Point, um, unbelievable. I can't believe Tuesday night in the winter. You understand? Packed. Tuesday, Wednesday is the slowest days of the week in the casino. Yeah. Monday, you have people left over from the weekend. Thursday, you have some people coming in early for the weekend. Friday, obviously, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday, slowest days of the week. Yeah. If I took a video at South Point and showed you, there's almost no machines available. It's crazy. Now, they had a bingo thing yet last. They played, people were, they have bingo on Tuesdays, so it brings a lot of locals in. Yeah. There was an hour wait just to get in the coffee shop. Yeah. Just to get in the cafe. Yeah. yeah. And also, what happened at the buffet line on a buffet and, line any was given, out the door? It's it, like literally, it's like a ride at like a Disneyland. It just wraps around, wraps around. It's crazy. Let me tell you though, they have good, good food. Uh, the yeah. coffee shop has Chinese food, a Chinese menu, a regular menu. Yeah. And I um, like the South Point. They have like so <clears throat> many good restaurants there. It's a little but smoky, but I like. I it. can't take the smoke. Yeah. But yet, 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 you know, you have to know where to play without without the smoke. Um. But yeah, no, I can't stop him from playing. I have another friend too that that tells me um, he's betting NBA. I tell him how hard it is to beat NBA. I don't really do NBA very little. I do some, some some totals maybe before the game starts. But this guy says, "Oh, I'm I got this system. I'm betting live. I'm betting um, unders yeah. before the game starts, and then I'm live. I'm betting over on the same game and middling the games. And of course, they only tell you that when they're winning." So he's winning a key, you know, he started, you know, a month ago. He's up, you know, uh like like fifteen hundred bucks betting. By the way, he's only betting like fifty dollars a game. So he's up like fifteen hundred bucks. And I'm trying to tell him, listen, how about when you bet under two twenty before the game starts and they the pace is unbelievable and now it's the, the live is two twenty six, two twenty eight, two thirty. You never get it. Oh, then I get stuck with it. Well then you're betting negative E V. I'm yeah. trying, to, try, trying to explain to him that you've made you you've been on the positive side of variance, but in the end you're gonna lose. Right. I'm trying to tell him, and he's like, "All right, well, I just have you know, I'm just having fun, and you know what? He's probably right. Have fun, enjoy yourself. You're gonna bet anyway. Try to middle some games, I guess, live and stuff. But especially, he's got one sports book. You know, you got yeah. no, you got no chance. But but if you're not trying to win, if you're just trying to have fun, and hopefully the luck you can win. Then I guess it's okay, but I I just don't bet. I, when I walk into a casino or bet a game, I don't look at that like that. I look at something where I know I'm going to have a mathematical edge by the time the tip off happens, right. or the kickoff happens. Right. So, um, but these are guys that are around me. Now think about that. These are guys around me. They know I make my living betting sports. That's basically how I make my living. Right. Um, for 30 years. Filing taxes, just pay the big quarterly tax checks today. But 
betting on based on sports betting win. And you think they would like, I gotta do everything crack does. You, right. you would think they would. Yeah. You know, but people like to have their own, you know, you know shoot the cuffs. <laughs> they and want bragging their, rights. They want their own pat on the back and brag. I, I understand it. Yeah. Me, I'm still learning. I'll learn from someone. They want to say. Did you notice your guy with the Baccarat? I said, well, he's, yeah. he's probably losing. But I, I'll still, just in case there is something there. Right. I'll still learn little things. So They want to say, I was at the sports book with Crack. I played his plays, but two of mine won. I had two better ones. That's why I don't want to like, give them any one place. Yeah. They I don't realize it. that long term, right. my, my 3 4% edge long term right. is going to produce a profit right. on any given day you short can, term you can go over three over for four on short any term they, they can win and win you know and say oh right. i do better than him. yeah i do better than him yeah yeah i picked um, 85 percent. this is a crazy subject yeah and a lot of people don't don't have this happen to them i understand but um when i go into casinos to cash a voucher right like you know you're at the yeah, window yeah, yeah and you cash a voucher and your voucher is uh 2700 yeah let's say i say oh congratulations they're looking for a tip. Right. Oh, my God. Congratulations. They don't realize that I'm in 10000 Right. You know, like, I, it, it shouldn't bother me. And it, it, yeah. it just, it irritates me. Yeah. You know, like, oh, congratulations. Like, they don't even know how much money you're in. Right. It, it, it doesn't happen in high limit, but it happens on the regular floor. Right. You know what I mean? They used to cash in $28, $100, $50, $200. So <clears throat> I noticed that. I also noticed a way, another way of hustling. Believe it or not, in high limit, the cleaning staffs will hustle you. Anyone that plays in Hollywood <laughs> knows it. They'll come over and they'll bring you clean. Oh, you want me to clean your machine for you? This one's lucky today. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. I hate, oh, this one's lucky today. You know what I mean? Like, this happens in multiple properties. Yeah. This one is lucky. I think that one's good. This one's good. And they're cleaning. And they're just, it, it's, it's just like, there's an old saying from a guy I know from Youngstown, Ohio. He says, is everyone in Vegas on the fuck? Yeah, it's I mean, true. yeah, like yeah, uh, and yeah, it's yeah. just gambling towns, maybe in general. Yeah, I usually don't curse. Sorry, no, but, I like it. I like when you do. Yeah, no, I mean, it, like like the cleaning <laughs> staff hustle. And you know what? Here's what I'll do. Yeah, it's sick because I like I, I actually like some of the properties I go to. And I one of the guys is like, here you go, buddy. Here's five bucks. Just take the five. Don't say a word to me. Right. You know, don't tell me where to play. Yeah. You know what I mean? Imagine. Oh, this machine's good today. You know what I mean? Like, let me ask you this. Yeah. I know you don't play too much blackjack, mm. but you did in the past. Yeah. Have you ever paid someone to leave the table? Oh, I would. <laughs> I would. I, I haven't. Don't you've done this? Yeah, I've done it. Like, give me an example. Long time ago. Like, oh. you know, uh, I'm playing 100 to 200 a hand, and the guy comes in. It's my bad, because this is back when I wasn't even playing, like, at a $25 minimum table. Right, right. Like, a 5 or $10 minimum table right. or a $15 minimum table. And the guy's, like, you know, wanting to split queens, and he's wanting to, you know, gut feeling on a 16, you know, doesn't want to take the hit. Gut feeling on a 15, dealer showing a 6, but he's got a gut feeling it's going to be a good card, and oh. he takes the hit. You know, and it's like I've literally given someone a hundred bucks before. Like, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a hundred dollars not to play here. I've also just said when I want them, when you know, I just want them to play by the book, right? So I've also said, like, I'll tell you what, take the card. If you lose, I'll pay it like you won. Wow, I've done that because sometimes you know you got a big double down going on whatever, the and, and they're trying to. But Screw actually, around. mathematically, it's the same exact outcome so, long term for you. Either you're, that the next card can help you, right? And you only remember you. when it hurts. You only remember when it hurts. Natural so it's funny you said that. Tendency. I've told you about my buddy Rob before. He was uh, he's banned in all the places, whatever. Yeah. Um, and uh, the guy that I met. No, you didn't meet that was him. A different guy? No, this the is night Rob. We... Rob Wrightson. Um, okay. He's kind of famous in the blackjack world okay um used to have a team and all that stuff oh wow paid them 401k oh he's really yeah he's really the yeah, yeah, really real yeah, deal like, like close to 20 million over like 15 years wow or yeah yeah um he told me when i told him that bothers me he told me what you just said he's yeah. like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what everyone does before you or after you don't worry about that and you know matter. when you're counting cards in blackjack like there's a there's a there's many many hands you'll stay on 16 verse 10 right you know unless if, if you could surrender right. you'll surrender Right. But um, so there's many hands. By the there. way, I hate when people surrender. Yeah, you'll surrender, but especially in front counting. of me when they're before me, because like I want, I want the card I was supposed to get. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's dumb, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah. You want yeah, the card that was something. meant for me. I noticed Dana doesn't mind. Oh, that. Dana will play very unorthodox. Well, no, because the guy, the guy ahead of him. Yeah. That was playing. Yeah. And he was hitting or staying different cards, and and it, it 
wasn't playing traditional basic strategy, and yeah. Dana, Dana didn't care. He Doesn't was bother him. Didn't bother him. Which is him. shocking, right? Yeah, he didn't care. Yeah, but Dana will also stay on eight mm -hmm. sometimes just to shake up the deck. Eight, <laughs> like five and three. Yes. <laughs> not, <laughs> and not, not, not a seven and an ace, right? No, 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 no. And I've seen it work for him. I've also seen it not work for him. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just liked it. His his mentality sometimes is just like the deck is all messed up, and I just want to shake up the, the deck. It is what it 30, is. 30,000 a hand staying on eight. <laughs> How much money do you have to have to do yeah. that? You have to have I've Dana, seen it work. Dana White money. It works sometimes. I seen him. Uh, I watched the UFC this weekend. Did you? I it was a great it. card this weekend. Yeah. yeah. How about that guy that didn't get knocked down in the main event, Vera? Unbelievable. I mean, he, he Cheeto Vera. Took a, took a beating and kept on ticking. Unbelievable. I mean, he lost. He lost. But he got but to, the fourth round, it was good. And then yeah. the end of the fifth round, he got a good punch in. But uh, Matter of fact, had that fight been longer. another minute, yeah. might have had a problem. Right, right. But, he, not uh, even a minute. 30 more seconds, he might have been able to actually pull off that upset. Yeah, but, yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Really great card. Uh, slot machines and bars. You know, I, I go by these bars, all these different pubs in town. And, yeah. And let's just call them little slot halls. Yeah, yeah. I always wonder who plays in there. Now, Me if they too. have good food, like when you're driving it might be by different. them, yeah, um, there is some places in town that have really good steak deals, like breakfast steak and eggs, nine ninety nine, in the restaurant portion of the bar, and then they yep. have slot. I can't believe all the people that play in those bars. I know. You know what I'm talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. There's one right near me. Bars everywhere. Yeah, and there's slot machines in there, and you're places allowed, like the Lodge. And yes, uh, you're allowed to smoke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Death, death. Yeah, but it's amazing how people flock to them now. That being said, sometimes there are progressives yeah. that can hit that are in places that, that... Now, let me give you an example. The reason why I say it, but I, I won't even go. And the same guy, when he texts me, hey, there's a real good progressive over here. A dollar machine, which is $5 a hand, yeah. the progressive starts at 4000 was up to $12,045. Wow. And of course, he hits it. Wow. Yeah, he hits it. And What did that pay? 12045 uh, with the lucky master's hat. I brought him a master's hat. He's won almost a million dollars with the master's hat on. He Come me. on. That's what he told me. I believe him. I mean, look look at this one. Commission? Does this he was a $5 one, 76000 Same guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. That's the, a the, dollar. The, dollar. This, this this one's a dollar one. Dollar one starts at 4000 It's up to 12000 which is a great, great right. progressive. So the bars do have it. But sometimes you got to, because people don't play. You know what it is? People in the bars, for some reason, they're, they're, they're they just don't know the strategy. Like if you're playing double double bonus, and they have a pair of, you know, Jackson fives, they throw the fives away. They, they, you know, instead of keeping the two pair, they just think, oh, well, four of a kind pays two fifty. That's what I have to go for. Oh, it's so wrong. But like, if you have aces and twos, you, you break it up. I mean, but because the four aces has the bonus on it, but. People just don't. I, I, I'm always shocked keep, by that, keep John. Keep the two pair and, and hope yeah, you get the full house. Hope you fill sure, up. pays right. 45. Yeah. Um, I'm always shocked that people just don't want to know or learn strategy. You can Google any any single video poker machine, basic strategy, and it'll show you the hands. Right. But then it becomes a job, I guess. You're looking down. You're making sure. You're, right. You know what I mean? Right. I guess it, I guess it becomes not, not fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but just, winning, winning all the money would be I, fun, I'm just right? looking to win. Yeah, I, I, I am. I'm just looking to win. I'm, I'm not looking to. Um, all right. So you guys wanted it. March Madness coming up this weekend, Selection Sunday. I'll be back east. Um, I just had some uh, things to tell you off my old primers, and I, I said let me uh, give some people some strategies since we won't be on air until after these games next week. Uh, first half value. The first half on underdogs, the bigger underdogs. So let's say, you know, like the team, like like Duke is given, you know, 21. Um, you know, the first half's 14 or whatever, whatever maybe 13, 12. Um, I think there's some value on those dogs. Not all of them. I think there's some value on some of those dogs, especially if a team that's in the dance for the first time, um, they're, they're so pumped up in the first half, these kids, to play. And they're... You know, they're playing versus a giant team. I know that. Usually the strength of the better team shows in the second half. But I like betting some of those first half big double digit, digit dogs. So that's that's one of the things. Um it's just a it's a pure number too. It's um you know, uh there's not a lot of garbage desperate desperate fouls like there is at the end of a game. So you get that no matter what you're betting first half. First half's a pure number. Mm -hmm. I, I like that there's there, there's no fouling. So um 
you know, I can't tell you how many times I lost games. You know, you were a winner for 39 minutes, and then you you lose doing to seniors playing their last game and whatever whatever it may be. Yeah, whatever. frustrating. Yeah, frustrating. Um, so anyway, that's that, that's one thing. Um, I'm gonna read right from my thing here. Props, prop me up. I said. With more and more legal sports books entering the proposition market, which is now really, there's more props to bet than ever. Um, so there's some prop opportunities, and I don't mean, I'm not saying future opportunities, individual props, game props, player props. There may be some better opportunities to look at them than the actual game itself. But um, futures, I don't really bet futures a lot of the time. Uh, I'll bet more. I'll look. After the, the bracket comes out, you'll look to see what team should play what team and what team you think is going to play what team. And you can just figure out what the spread, the money line and the spread is going to be. You can kind of look and if you're in tune with the business, with, with gambling in general, you could say, oh, well, that, you can guess on every line what it's going to be. Obviously, you put a, a numeric money line value to that. You could just parlay that team to win. Like, like I like, I kind of like Purdue to win it all a little bit, but I'm not going to bet plus seven to one. So, I'll see how much $100 Purdue, once the bracket comes out, $100 money line parlay can return instead. Now, but now you have to gamble all the money away. So if your 100 wins $60 on the first one, take the 160 Now you put the whole 160 on the next one. If it only comes back, you know, 190 now you put 350 on the next one. So that's the money line parlay instead of looking at the futures because the futures have such a bad hold. I mean, they're taking 40 50% out of a futures market, unlike a straight game, which is a 4.5% bet. So, um, you know, um, very important to protect your bankroll. It's so easy when you see a TV screen with four games on it. Uh, I got to do something here. Gotta do and then those one once the games end, there's another set of games. And when that ends, there's another set of games. Right. So automatically you have to be in action all day long. Man, protect your bankroll because I'll tell you what. I know that this happened to many people. After they get to the second week, they're broke. They just didn't protect their bankroll. They, 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 you know, I'll reduce my wager volume as the weeks go on too, because they become more and more like an NBA game. The, the lines get tighter uh, as the tournament goes on. The reason why the lines get tighter is the bookmaker only has so many games to look at. So here they're looking at, you know, they're looking at thirty-six games. Now they're down to, you know. Down, you know, 34 games. Now they're down to literally, you know, eight games and 16 games. That's a great point. They can really get a good grasp a on dive, the line. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just, um, you know, it's it's real simple. It's the old saying, bet with your head, not over it. So yeah. I wanted to uh, make sure people know that. And um, and you I, don't have to bet. Yeah. Right? You don't have to bet you, every you can game. You lay off a game. Yeah. You don't have to bet every game. I mean, I'll, I'll that's my... Uh, <clears throat> My primer, it's right on my it's right on the right on the website. You can go to Crackwood's yeah. website, it's right on the website. So the primer is there's five different tips there. Um it's hard for people to lay oh, off. Especially it, if they're watching this. This is game. closet gambling to a lot of people. You understand? Right. No one knows they're betting. They're betting on an app right in front of them, they're pressing buttons. That no one sees them in the casino taking out cash and losing their right. Which by the way, when you're doing that, it's harder. It's harder to maintain composure and bankroll management. It's much harder. If it's on an app and it's a video game, basically, right? It's just a click of a unlike, button. Unlike unlike in first, like you're money. actually taking your cash out. It's different. It's so different. It's like chips at the blackjack table. It's different it, than money. It's so it's it's so different. It really is. Um, that was one thing I, I, I had to say uh, about that. But I just want, I want people to know that I know it's the biggest time. People come out here. It's the biggest time of the year. You know when when passport was, was repealed and everyone said, "Oh my God." Vegas is in trouble now. There's going to be gambling. DraftKings, FanDuel, BetMGM, Caesar. They're going to be nationwide. There's no reason to come to Vegas. Let me tell you something. Vegas has made more money since it was repealed yeah. because it introduced a brand new thing to many a many different section of different age groups, and 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 automatically they were like, wow, you can bet on sports now. They still come out once a year for March Madness. Yeah. This place. Jams. Even in New York, I mean, there's casinos now in New York. You, you New York still... Well, New York is the gambling. New York's the sports betting capital of the world, right? Uh, I shouldn't say world of the United States, but they still want to come to Vegas. They they do, they do. But New York, the volume they do in New York, it's crazy. Supersedes everywhere. It doubles Nevada. It's such a more hardcore sports fan. It is the East Coast. It was a right New York passage, and Boston, man. Right? I like to say that. They, yeah, New York, Philly, Boston, right. Chicago, right? Um, like Baltimore, Washington. These are right. all places that. 
They're die hard hardcore fans. gamblers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know, like that that's something else they said. Oh, my God. The, this is going to be the end of the mafia now, the, the sports betting. That's one of their big ways to make money. Meanwhile, they'll make more money because now you these new gamblers that never gambled before, they run out of cash to, to go put up in their FanDuel right. DraftKings. <laughs> now they go to the you know, corner store bookmaker. Bet on credit. Yeah. yeah, they go to the if they find a you know candy store or, or a pool hall or your buddy's bowling alley. Oh, you got oh I got a guy. Sure. Right. Now these guys are betting on credit. These kids. Yeah. And I say kids. I mean under thirty. You know, like they're they're betting. And a lot of those guys are using apps now too, right? Like a local sports betting app. Or am I saying it right? What do you, do you mean, know what I'm talking who? about? A lot of like the bookies. Have, well, the, the like, bookies have sites. Right, I don't know about apps. right. That's what I meant. Yeah, they, they have a site. Oh where you yeah, go it's, it's no, it's there's no more. You're calling. not calling it in anymore. Right, is there's what no I'm more saying. calling and saying. And then Rocky's on the other phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah what, what do you want? Right, uh, give me a uh, hundred on the Steelers and a hundred on the Dolphins. All right, you got right. it, kid. Bye. Right, there's but no more of that. There's no more of that. No, that now now everything is done through a site. So but the payout is in person. The payouts in person. Yeah, they, they right. pay, yeah, pay and collect in person. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, but who wants to do that? I'm done doing that. I'm done meeting people on the corners. And me, me, I'm right. done. I'm done. Uh, I'm so glad I'm done, too. I hated it. Yeah. I hated doing that years ago. I mean, it was, you know, just, just, it's just not, it's not something that, uh, that, that's conducive to a healthy market for me. But I do know that you have to do that in order to be successful if you're betting a big time syndicate plays. Right. You have to get many accounts. And the more accounts you have, you know, you have to like go undercover and sneak in. But you know, the the uh, the accounts I have here in town are pretty good. And when I go back east, Foxwoods with DraftKings there, FanDuel at Mohegan Sun, they're pretty good to me. Um, betting in person. So in Connecticut, is there sports betting? Yeah, that's it. That's that's the two. Oh, that's those those are the two. Yeah, out there. Oh, yeah. right, Foxwood Mohegan. Yep. Out yep. There. Yeah, yeah, you'll see it next week. So your dad is going to be at resorts in Atlantic City. Yep. This weekend, and then the final show March twenty second. Yeah. You're flying out? Yeah. Did you get a ticket yet? Are you like me? Did you get an airline ticket? Not yet. Isn't Why, why do we do that? I don't know. No, no, no. I'm, and last I, night, I was thinking about it. Last night was the night to buy it because at least you would have had seven-day notice. Well, I oh, well, I'm going that. out on the 19th on Tuesday. I actually said, I actually said to my wife, I, I, I have a problem. I'm almost thinking now i got to fly next why, Wednesday. Why do I have to be like I don't know. last minute? I don't know. Like I, I could save money, but I have to be. I'm not exactly sure when I want to go somewhere. That's my problem. Yeah. It's a sickness. I'm, it's 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 trying. It's well. I now, don't know now, it's a now where are you flying into? Hartford is what they told me. All right, me. hold on. Are Tell you me. flying Breeze? I don't know. I didn't oh, book anything. God. Is that what I should do? It's the best. Yeah. Okay, now you're helping. Breeze. Tell me how much. It, can you look it up? Listen, I'm afraid to know. Breeze Airlines. Yeah. So Bree, Breeze is. Uh, do they have a first time sign up bonus? <laughs> no, but but Breeze Airlines is so cool. This is the guy that of was at JetBlue. My app now. Um, this guy was at JetBlue. This guy was at, he was a CEO of JetBlue. And he started this. And he started Breeze. So it's going to be good, but better. Like the first 10 rows are first class. That's what I need. They're just good seats. It's going to be bigger crazy. Seats. How just, much do you think it is? Believe it or not, it's pretty, I, I consider it pretty reasonable. What's I reasonable? think it's going to be under $400 each way first class. Really? Yeah. I'm in. That's first class, I'm saying. But you can get, you can go coach. No, I can't. You can go. With, I can, No, listen to me. I can't. Yeah. It's, it's, I can't. No, but I mean. And spoiled let's look. party Las of Vegas one. Your Hart- table's ready. Spoiled party of one. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it. All right, let's go. Let's go Hartford. Let's yep. go depart. Let's let's see when. Let's see when your date's yep. going to be. Thing so, is, I, I got to buy two tickets, which sucks. But oh, is your, your, your girl's going. No, I'm taking Matt Kelly. I mean, you know Matt Kelly. Yeah. yeah so because yeah. we, we're shooting a documentary on my dad, so uh, we're going to be shooting some stuff out. March twenty first, which is Thursday. Yep. Uh, here, nonstop is one hundred and sixty one in steerage. You have one seat now. At first class is five forty four each way. That's a little bit too high. What, um, it, what is it for? Um, like Wednesday. Believe it or not, they only have nonstop every two days. So it's going to be Thursday or Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, Tuesday. What is it? Tuesday. Let's see. Nonstop. One hundred and forty one in the back. What about in the three eighty three? Three seats for left. first. First class. Three eighty three. First class. I'm in. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. And and let me tell you something. Their first class is just as good as anyone else's. Really? Yes. I'm in. I have taken their first class multiple times. So it's 1200 bucks for what the us. Now, the only problem is, so you're trying to save casino. some money. Yeah. John yeah. Orlando being around casinos from Tuesday on instead of Thursday on. No, I'm good now. Really? Yeah. yeah. You're reformed? Oh, I've been the, reformed. The meetings have worked? Yeah. No, oh. I'm, I'm, I don't really... I'm more poker than anything else. Oh they, well, in that, in that case, I crush Foxwoods poker. and Mohegan both have great poker. Maybe you poker back rooms. me in the World Series this year. No. <laughs> no way. Wait no. a minute. Come on. No. Some. No. 
A piece? I root for you. Not even a piece? I'll put you in the seniors, maybe. What if I'm in the? What are you trying to say? <laughs> no, because they have the seniors are fifteen no, and over. I can mop them up. Let me tell the you seniors, something. They don't have. I the, think a guy that that that's like your age. Yes. Fifty and over now. They yes. Have? Yes. I, I just can't believe it. It, it. Now they have a super seniors is like sixty five and older, but I'll get a fake ID. No, but fifty and older seniors. Yeah. I think that, I think that's a good thing. You know. Um, Won't but, you be kicking yourself? Let's just. No, I I'll told for you. you I'm going to win the I'm main event. I'm rooting for it. And by the way, you do have. You know, you always say it's going to be someone under the age of like 35. Right. But you do have, because of all the, you know, lifting and yeah. gym and not e eating, you know, oh, I can sticks do it. and pretzels, yeah. whatever you eat. I can do it. And and the drugs you're taking. Um, when I'm on, when I'm at the final table, you're not going to be kicking yourself standing at the rail no. watching me going, no, I could have had 20% of this. You don't know this. me then. I'm not I could have had 20% of this 9 million. I'll for it. John, listen. I told you off air. <laughs> Someone gave me twenty bitcoins. Yeah. Two oh, you're years make me ago. Sick again. Yeah. yeah. And I didn't want them. I was like, I don't want these things, you know. And and then you know, someone like my friend kept them. Wow. And he sold them. He, he sold them at like fifty grand, but uh, from five grand to fifty grand, he made a ton of money. And it, he would have made a lot more now. It's seventy-two thousand a coin. Seventy-eight now. Seventy-eight. Yeah. See, these people. Probably eighty. These people are very smart. They're much smarter than me. Yeah. Yeah. And I have someone I know works at Coinbase. He's I a genius bought kid. He said, Bill, this is going to 100000 by the end of the year. He goes, really? If I tell you what it's really, what I think it's really going to go to? Half a million, everyone tells he me. He said, I think uh, you'd be shocked. But let's just say six figures at the end of the year. I said, all right. So, yeah. I could have had Bitcoin when it was like under We would have never kept it, though. Bucks. We wouldn't no, have kept it. No, that's true. You know, we wouldn't have kept it. That's a good point. You know, it still hurts. Yeah, 73000 right now. Oh, 73. It was seventy eight. Really, did it go that high? Jesus. Yeah, I think so. But, um... Well, John, I think wow. we covered everything. Yeah, this was good. Oh, uh, baseball season starting up. Yeah. I gave some futures earlier. I told you, let me just tell you what I'm thinking. Okay. Is it crazy to pick two National League teams and two American League teams to win the World Series? I mean, you could do that if you sprinkle some pennies on all of them. Reds, 40 to 1. Yeah. Now do some searching, though. The Royals are 100 to 1. Wow, Listen, to Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. The Royals George, are 100 to 1. Back? They look good. That's all I'm saying. They look good. 100 to 1 you know, Royals, 40 to 1 Reds. Whenever I do this, I lo I'll look at Circa odds, and I'll tell yeah. you why. Because Circa odds are usually like pretty good. But you still want to search, though, because there's definitely other places uh, sometimes that, that yeah. you know, are, are, are better. So let, let's just see. But then let me ask you this. Would you frown on me? If I put a hefty, hefty sum on the Dodgers, even though they're the favorites. Well, listen, you, you're, you're on a free roll. You won some money last year. Right. Um, so you're on a free roll with that. You've you, you done well. The Rangers are only 15 to 1, just to let you know. Which is so disrespectful. Oh, God. It's so the, disrespectful. Royals, 150 to 1, see? The Royals are 150 to 1. 150 to 1. Listen to me, Bill. What was the other team you said? The Reds. The Reds, I'm going to say what I said about the Rangers two years ago. What were the Reds? 40 to 1. Yeah, 40 to 1. Right. Yeah. The Reds may need one more year, but the Reds have a really good squad. My God, how can the Dodgers be plus three twenty five? It's just that's wow. that's crazy. That's too low. My God, you the see, Dodgers should be five to one. But listen, the Dodgers are going to win if they stay healthy. Yeah, if they stay healthy. The Dodgers are unstoppable. The wow. team's ridiculous. The Rangers won last year, correct? Yeah, at fifteen, and yet they're fifteen to one. That's crazy. It's so disrespectful. They really are taking the World Series champ. And saying, ah, you got no chance. Not even they're second or third or no. fourth choice. No, they're like seventh. Yeah. Sixth. How? I don't know. Did they lose some some players? I don't. I don't think so. Montgomery, they have yeah. signed yeah. pitcher. Um, but uh, still, some big trades in the NFL. Did you see that? Like Barkley yes. and Saquon and, uh, Bar is with the Eagles and, now, right? Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine if you're a Giants fan, how insulted you are. Oh my God. You go to the enemy. Why do they do that? The arch enemy. I don't know if Barkley's the old Barkley. So, mm. uh, but yeah, they got. Oh my God, Giant fans got to be upset. No mm. more that it, they went to. He went to the Eagles than anything. Yeah. But um, meanwhile, the Cowboys. Cousins to Atlanta. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they, I, I like that quarterback documentary was so good. So good. And I seen Cousins and what they go through. Mahomes. Yeah. And Mariota. What and they, Mahomes has so much dog in him. He, I like that he talks shit to the other guys too. He's not a. He's afraid. a great quarterback, man. He's yeah. gonna go down, you know, as one he's of the, the best. top three of all time. He's gonna pass you know, Brady. right now, anyway. 
You know, I think Montana Brady, Montana Brady, Brady and him are like yeah. uh, a coin toss. That there's some quarterbacks, like I said, from the '60s and '70s that don't get mentioned too much. This show got me back into football over oh, the last wow. few years. Nice, because yeah. as a Cowboys fan, uh, football is always. I hope been the meetings miserable. don't. When you go to the meetings, I hope they don't. They don't <laughs> tell you don't do the show no more. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Later. 